Hi, brother teacher. I would like to first begin with a disclaimer before I get into the meat of this video. And I just simply want to start by saying that I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not any type of physician. I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a doctor. I'm not a politician. I'm just simply your brother, your fellow man, sharing information with you based on my own life's experience and my studies of the world in which we all live. And I would advise you to do the same. Study the world that you live, the things that affect you and your body and your family from day to day, your existence even. So now with that said, this is not, this video and this information is for informational, educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not to treat and or diagnose any disease to include cancer, but make sure that you follow behind anything that you hear me say so that you can not only be convinced but convicted of your own beliefs and not just simply because I said it. Okay? Is that fair? Now, cancer is caused by man's devices and vices. Cancer is caused by what we put in, what we inhale, and what we absorb from our environment. And it is also caused by those things that we don't put in our body, that our bodies do need to survive. Just those two things. What goes in that's not supposed to be there, and what's not put there that should be there. You follow? Makes perfectly good sense, I would hope. Now, to rid ourselves of cancer and or cancer cells, depending on where you are in the stage of cancer and what type of treatments you may be undergoing, if any, if you're, let's say, stage one and two of cancer, you can eradicate cancer cells by doing a couple things. One thing that I want to give you is this remedy. You want to get some molasses. Black strap molasses is good. Organic. You want to get baking soda which is also called bicarbonate of soda. It neutralizes bacteria, viruses, and so forth baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. Your body even makes it. So, what's the procedure? You take a tablespoon of black molasses or black strap molasses, molasses in general, tablespoon in a glass of 8 to 12 ounces of water and a teaspoon of baking soda. Stir it up until it is dissolved thoroughly. Drink this first thing in the morning for six to seven days. What it does is helps to alkalize your body. Cancer cannot live in an alkaline environment. It thrives in an acidic environment. When you alkalize your body, cancer cells will die. Now why the molasses, you might add or ask. Cancer and Candida loves sugar. It is attracted to sugar. So the strategy is this. When you mix the molasses with the baking soda, the molasses or the sugar in the molasses attracts the cancer. And the baking soda or bicarbonate of soda neutralizes it. So you use the molasses to draw the cancer to the bicarbonate of soda which neutralizes and alkalizes the body. Makes sense? Now, another thing you must remember is this. Try to, as much as you possibly can, eliminate anything that you are eating from day to day 
that is not real food. That covers all processed, denatured food types. If it has preservatives, genetically modified organisms, chemicals, it's going to be hard, but not impossible. You have to want to do this if you want to have good health and if you want to live. Eliminate the processed foods. Note the term processed. Nature doesn't have processed foods. Only man creates processed foods, which means they put things in there that are not natural. And when you put those things that are not natural into a natural body, your body begins to fight for survival. It begins to become overwhelmed because these things are foreign to it. I hope that this tidbit of information finds you in good health down the near road in the near future. If you follow just this simple basic step, eat wholesome, naturally organic foods, eliminate, if not all at one time meat from your diet at least a significant amount of meat from your diet most of your immune system most of our immune system 80 percent of our immune system is in our gut or our intestines when you overwhelm your immune system with things that are not real food and with chemicals and toxins it is compromised and once it's compromised we invite cancer. It's just that simple, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. And that was all. May Yahweh continue to bless you and yours. And I love you as well. And I pray for your great health. So long.